Good afternoon. Welcome to dot programming dot dot com. Today I'm talking about uh, WPF list view with the grid view cell template customization. So uh, first of all, create a list view uh, control by the XAML code with the name property. Uh, here the name property is the instance of the list view because the list view is a class in the WPF application so uh, by using this the we can pick all other control and uh, all other properties of the method of the list view class <coughs> now create the view of the list view class we have only the single view that is the grid view uh, create a two column in the grid view because uh, we have only two column in the table so create two column here uh, header is the column name of the grid view column and display member binding it means bind the uh, grid view column with the public properties of the item source now uh, the second column is we have a header that is name and grid view column dot cell template now I want to customize this name column so here we use cell template In the same template use data template and the data template hold other controls like the text block control here we use text of the uh, data template that is binding of the public property that is employee name emp underscore name I will show later on the public property in this video also the set the font weight of the uh, text block that is bold now save this and add a idiomx file in the project add a new item select adu.net entity data model that is model 1 now select the database by the new connection button we have two options that is uh, my, my Microsoft SQL Server and the second one is Microsoft SQL Server database I have select uh, I select Microsoft SQL Server database because I have already a database so create a connection that is test connection in this database we have uh, three data uh, three tables that is employee placements and another one is so each uh, tables are separated from each other in this video tutorial I will select only single table at a time but include all other remainings okay so next to, to save this connection in the data uh, application.config file now select the table or you can say object of the database by this uh, wizard model context window select the tables click to finish yeah that's fine add uh, three models in the page of the EDMX or you can say add three tables or all remaining all other tables or all tables in the context wait for some times to add uh, tables in the EDMX or you can say the prepare model so wait for some time after uh, add of all three tables in solution we have two files 
that is model and second one is context a context class having a connection string and the public properties by using the public properties of the context class we can communicate with the tables which is inside in model so here we have a single context class that is model one dot context class and the name of the context class is database entities so create a object of the database entities in the CS file so first of all after initialize component create a method that is grid load oops grid load method generate method stub by refactors so here we create a database entities dbe equals to new database entities dbe dot oops here we use the list view one that is list view one is the name of the list view list view one uh, list one dot item source equals to dbe dot employees dbe dot employees here employees the public property in the database entities class dot to list because item source bind with the list now we have two public properties in the employee class which is side in model that is id and employee name so these property assign in the binding of the xaml code uh, here that is grid view column first binding id and second one is in the cell template text blocks that is employee name so thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorial please keep watching my all video tutorials to show the outputs generally we get a single error uh, that is uh, database already in use so please close uh, close visual studio and again open it to release the resources of the database uh, by the other processes and start it again so thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorial please keep watching and continue watching